Hello, this is John with MGTOW is Freedom. I, uh, I mentioned something in a video the other day and I, I thought, okay, I have, to, um, I have to do the video now about it. Uh, there's this big question, MGTOW in marriage, how do you protect yourself? And um, people go, well, you do a prenuptial. And those are not ironclad. And I know something that is ironclad. Now here's where we get into some, some trouble. I am not a licensed attorney. I no longer practice law in any fashion. I am a licensed general contractor. Uh, law was a disaster. I don't like working with scumbags and pukes all the time. When you have morality in your life, and I'm not saying all lawyers are bad, it makes it hard to work around that. But what I did do when I was in the field of law was I did irrevocable trusts. And I did it at the time for purposes of asset protection, that is protection against lawsuits, and to help uh, minimize and manage tax liabilities. Right, and I also did some offshore corporation type work, basically helping people right, move money around in a safe fashion. A lot of folks were using um, irrevocable trusts and offshore corporations as abusive tax shelters. That is, they didn't pay their taxes before sending money offshore, they weren't paying their taxes, and they get into trouble. So I went in and tried helping people work within the law and then also protect themselves. So when I talk about being MGTOW in marriage and the use of irrevocable contract trusts, I'm not giving anyone legal advice. I'm saying do some research. Look into it. From what I understand and from what I know as a fact is once you give money to a trust, once you give property to a trust, and a revocable trust or also known as a living trust that can be revoked it can be forced to be returned it can be broken apart by a court but the irrevocable contract trust is different it cannot because you no longer retain ownership you give up ownership okay yes yeah, so you give up ownership of a thing, of property, of your money, but you don't lose control of it. That is, you grant it to the trust, and the trust becomes an entity for it set to, you know, exist for a specified number of years, whatever that is, right? 25 years, 50 years, there's just a rule against perpetuities, but again, it's a very technical subject. But the basic fundamental concept of it is you give up ownership, therefore it's not yours to lose anymore. And you grant it to the trust, and then you, in a grantor-style trust, come back in as the grantor. And it requires two trustees, right? So it would be you and your son, you and your brother, but you retain ownership of the house, of the cars, of the fortune, right? Whatever the assets are, the trust retains ownership. So you personally cannot be sued. And in a divorce, you cannot be sued for what is in the trust because you don't own it. The trust owns it. And as the trustee, you manage that ownership, that property, whatever the thing is, for the benefit of the named beneficiaries. And that, that also is just written into the trust. Whoever the beneficiary is, you're taking care of it. right? So you've heard of kids with trust funds. That is a fund owned by a trust, so it's separate from what the, the person who gave it to it. So it's a trust fund in a bank, right? And it's held for the benefit of the beneficiary. And at a certain age, the beneficiary, in this case, the funds are dispersed to them and they spend them, or it's a college trust fund, right? In this case, as MGTOW, and you want to get married, you're like, this is the girl, but I don't want to give up half of my shit. And you say, this is the girl, and I know prenuptial agreements don't hold up. But you tell her, this is, uh, this is better than a prenuptial agreement. You'll never be able to break this. Tell her right off the bat. Mine is mine. And if you say you're never going to leave me, if you say you love me and you're not trying to steal my shit, and you should have these frank discussions, 
then you tell her, I'm putting everything in a trust that is irrevocable. You can't break it, and you can't take away from what is not mine, because it's a trust. It is an irrevocable trust, and when you put it in the trust, you give up 100% ownership. And the concept of ownership is just a mental thing. You retain control of it, right? You retain control of it as trustee rather than owner. So the trustee doesn't own it. The trust owns it. And again, you can do this with money. You can do this with property. You can do this with personal possessions like cars, precious metals. Uh, name it. You can have multiple trusts or you can have one giant holding trust. Right? There's ways to structure these in such a way that you protect your assets from forfeiture, from seizure, from lawsuits. They are very handy, and now here's the problem, right? They cost money to do. You need to get an attorney. Or you need to have gone to law school to understand them, right? Um, but you may be able to buy them on the Internet. You know, buy the program. Maybe they're cheap now. I don't know. I just know that I know how to do them. I know how to do them. And, and it's not just for premarital materials. At any time, a trust can have put in it right you um you can add things to a trust more property more cars more material right your retirement fund can be named as the beneficiary of the trust and again that's probably one where you're going to need some uh, real legal consult consultation to figure out not only the paperwork but the legality uh, but there shouldn't be a problem there it's just a trust but what's special about the irrevocable trust is that it it owns the property it's not like a living will or a will or a living trust it becomes its own entity much like a corporation but it exists under contract law versus um, other types of law it is your right as a human being as a free person um, to to enter into contracts so you give away your property and in return, you just maintain control of it. You get to tell the property what to do. You can sell, you can buy, you can do all sorts of things through the trust. And as MGTOW, the woman can never take it. She can't even make the court fire you as the trustee and install her as the trustee. Right? You don't want her on there as a trustee because all she's going to do is cause problems with it. Right? So you don't even let her on as trustee. Right. Now, again, if a woman wants you and she wants you, not your stuff, she should have no problems with you putting all of your goods, right, all of your valuables, your property, everything that matters to you into that trust. Into that trust, including your retirement. Right? If all she cares about is you, but typically that's not the case, and especially after a divorce, women become very vindictive. So, once again, while you're married, even though you have community property, let's say you, uh, you've got community property, you've made $100,000 more than what you needed, you've got all that extra assets, and you say, I'm going to buy a piece of investment property, or I'm going to buy $100,000 worth of gold bullion for my retirement. And you can, while married, put property into a trust that only you maintain control of as trustee and your brother is the other trustee or your son or whatever right but that way you put her you keep the woman outside of the arrangement now where this idea doesn't help you is that in the event of a divorce you will have to pay spousal support uh, if the law prescribes that in a divorce if you have children you will have to pay spouse or child support right you will have to pay that the court cannot punish you for being intelligent and say because you have all this material in trust you have to pay her an exorbitant amount of money or a flat fee say of a million dollars because there is a arm's length and this is a legal term an arm's length between you and the trust that is you don't exercise ownership the, the court cannot examine the trust's holdings as your own. They can't do it. 
so it offers a great deal of protection, but you're still exposed to child support and spousal support. But again, if you're MGTOW and you want that woman, you're willing to buy the car, right? Take the depreciation, right? You're willing to, to, to really pay through the nose for that relationship, right? To satisfy her needs, right? Then you have to take that risk of child support and spousal support. And again, for a lot of us males, for a lot of men, having children is important. It's something that our body drives us to do. It's something we believe is important. It's a challenge we want to take, right? We want to we want to create a human being and and live with them and watch and grow from that experience. You know, fatherhood has been uh, uh, an experience for me that I would never change, never ever change. It's it's a beautiful thing to do. I love hanging out with my sons. Just being around them gives me a great deal of satisfaction. They're good men. But um, that doesn't mean you need to give away the rest of your life. So this is a way for you to get married. Right? To have children if that's what your goal is. And to at the very least protect your assets. Right? Protect your accumulated wealth. And even the wealth you accumulate while married. You just tell the little woman... Everything I get, in addition and above and beyond what needs to pay the bills, it's going into a trust. And she'll probably throw a fit. She may agree to it and not understand. And that might be better. Is that sneaky? Too fucking bad. Right? She doesn't know your plans. You have to, you have to come out and tell her your plans and, and why. That women don't tell us shit. They don't tell us what their plans are. They don't tell us their future sneaky tricks they plan on pulling. They don't tell us they're going to monkey branch. They don't tell us they're going to move up to the bigger, better deal. A guy with more money or whatever it is they want to do. Right? Boo-hoo-hoo, I don't like you anymore. I found something better. And then they ditch your ass while taking half your shit. The irrevocable contract trust. See an attorney. Read about it. If you want to get married, protect your assets. And even after marriage, community property can go into there and it becomes trust property. No longer yours as an individual where you can be sued for it in a divorce. I, I, <clears throat> I hesitate to come out and recommend it because I don't want anyone saying, well, you said so. No, research it yourself. If I had an interest in getting married again, that's exactly what I would do. That's exactly what I would do, is I would put everything into a trust. Vehicles, trailers, boats, cars, property, personal property, <laughs> even down to electronics, computers, televisions, whatever isn't nailed to the fucking ground, glued down with super glue and has a hundred ton weight set on top of it. If you don't have that type of protection, she's going to walk off with it in a divorce. So that is why I'm recommending the irrevocable contract trust because of asset protection it provides. Long-term, permanent protection. And it allows you to add into it the corpus, the body of the trust contains the materials that have been granted to it. And you maintain, and this is most important of all, you maintain direct control of it. There's also the uh, contract trust, which is a charitable contract trust. There are many forms of this vehicle, this ownership vehicle, that you can use to protect yourself and your intentions. Right. So I'm going to end the video here and say, look into it. For MGTOW who wish to marry, the irrevocable contract trust. Thanks again for watching. Please hit the little subscribe button, right? The little icon of uh, the prepared mind. Share this video with men, especially men who are engaged, thinking of becoming engaged. And even married men can start protecting their ass. And they can put their property into a contract trust. And hopefully, especially if they're in danger or threat of being divorced, hopefully they can get their wife to not sign on to it and agree to put a husband and son on it or a husband and his brother on it and get her out of the fucking picture.